arc length of a circle. Arc length is the distance between two points along a section of a curve. So by definition, it is the length of the curve or length of the arc. So from point A to point B, itong point na to, yung arc na yan. Yung length niyan, yun ang arc length. Now, um, arc length is being mistaken for the degree measure of the arc. That's oftentimes. Okay, but if we look at it, yung Degree measure ng arc ay hindi na nagbabago kahit na humahaba yung radius or lumalaki yung circle. Kasi yung degree measure ay naabase lang dun sa central angle na meron siya. Okay? So, hindi nag... Habawa, ito 90 degrees. 6 ang radius niya. So, kahit maging 10 ang radius niya, maging 20 ang radius niya, ang degree measure ng arc niyan ay 90 degrees pa din. But for the arc length, that's different. The formula in finding the arc length, or L, in symbol, is degree measure of the arc divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Okay, if you recognize this, this is the formula for the circumference of the circle. So, let's find the length of arc AB. So, length is equals to degree measure, let me write. over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. Then, put on the values. Let's ha we have 90 degrees all over 360 times 2 times pi. Pi is a constant number. Constant identity yan. And then, r is 6. Reduce is 6 dun ng galing. So, pwede tayo mag-calculate. So, ganito na lang muna. Simplify natin ang 90 and 360. So, ang greatest common factor nila ay 90. So, 90 over 90 is 1. 360 divided by 90 is 4. Or 1 fourth, 4, 90 over 360. Now, 2 and 4 may common factor pa, which is 2. So, magiging 1 dyan. Ito magiging 2. Tapos, yung 6 at 2 meron pa din. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, wala na iwan sa baba. Sa taas, meron tayong 1. 1 times 1 times 3. Times pi. So, that's 3 pi. So, denominator wala na. So, this will be our answer. 3 pi units. So, there's another way of solving, th solving this. Kung may calculator naman. So, rewrite ko to. And I'll put the value of pi. Pi is 3.14 approximately. So, kung may calculator, pwede natin siyang gamitin. So, rewrite ko lang 2 times, instead na pi, 3.14. Tapos, write natin yung 6. So, again, sabi ko, mag tayo. 90 divided by 360 equals... Tapos, diretso natin yung multiplication. Times 2, times 3.14, times 6, equals 9.42. So, this is 9.42 units. Ma'am, magkiba po ng sagot. Let's see. Yung 3 pi at 9.42, pareho yan ang value. How come? Kung i-multiply ko yung 3 sa value ng pi, 3 times 3.14. Sabi ko nga, 3.14 ng pi. The answer is 9.42. So, pareho lang po sila. So, kung nalito tayo dito, at pwede naman may calculator naman, we may do this, or use this way of finding the length. Now, another two, another example, number 2. In this case, we have, we have radius of 12, and 60 is our degree measure. So, so, hindi ko na sulat yung formula. Yun na siya. Degree measure is 60 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi and our r is 12. Okay, so, simplify natin. 60 and 360, ang kanilang greatest common factor ay 60. So, this will be 1. 360 divided by 60 is 6. Obvious naman sana yan. And then we have 12 and 6. Greatest common factor again is 6. So 6 over 6 is 1. 
12 over 6 is 2. What was left in our equation was 1 times 2 times 5 times 2. So, constants muna, 1 times 2 times 2, that's 4, pi. Sa denominator, walang naiwan. So, this is our answer. Okay? Now, we may also use the calculator here. So, let's have 60 over 360 times 2. Yung pi, papalatan ko ng 3.14 times 12. And then, use calculator. Tignan natin. Okay? 60. Make sure na ang ating calculator ay nasa degree mode. Ganyan. Degree mode. Letter D. Kita nyo na. So, 60 divided by 360 equals times 2 times 3.14 times 12. 12.56 ulitin ko. 60 divided by 360 times 2 times 3.14 times 12. Answer is 12.56. Ayan. Check natin kung pareho itong dalawa. 4 times 3.14 So pareho. 12.56 Find the length of the arc ST. So, the length is equals to the degree measure 110 degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 times pi times R which is 4. And so, meron ba tayong pwede i-cancel? So, ma automatically, pag may zero pareho, tanggalin nyo natin, na po. Ang common factor nila dyan ay 10. So, the answers it would be 11 over 36. What else? We have 4 and 36. Right? Pwede. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Ano lang na iwan? 11 and 2. Right? Tapos 9 ang denominator. So, the answer here would be 22 over 9 pi. Again, 11 times 2, 22. It's 9 na lang. So, 9 pi. Check natin. Gamitin natin ang calculator. Try natin na dire-direcho. 110 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times 3.14 times 4. Okay, gawin natin ito. 110 divided by 360 times 2 times 3.14 times 4. The answer is 7.68. 7.68. Units. Tingnan natin kung pareho sila nitong 22 over 9 pi. 22 divided by, check ko to ha, 22 divided by 9 times pi 3.14. So, the answer is 7.68. 7.68. So, they are just the same. So, our answer is Correct.